All right, let's try to subtract these two pretty big rational expressions. All right, so a couple of things I noticed before we begin. Uh, one, this is, a, this is a subtraction problem. So when the time comes, we're gonna distribute that negative sign through all the terms in the numerator for the second expression. And also I have to look, are these uh, uh, common, do these have a common denominator uh, or am I gonna have to create a common denominator? Lucky, luckily for us, these two denominators are already the same. So the arithmetic simply happens in the numerator and that's it, we'll, we'll get to just keep this common denominator that we currently have. All right, so let's, let's do that then. All right, so we'll have just a common denominator of 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. And then we'll have a long fraction bar and we'll have a whole lot of terms in the numerator. We'll have x squared minus 6x plus 67. And then we'll have minus 7. And this is important. We would have plus 23x. Now, why plus? Well, we did minus 7. And we also need to do minus negative 23x, which would create a plus or a positive 23x. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. And just to save space, I'm gonna to try to squeeze it up here. I'll change colors, um, but let's see, we would have an x squared. Let's see for the x's, minus six and plus 23, that would give us a 17x. And then 67 minus seven would be 60. Okay, so that would be 60. So I'll mark this guy out, all right? This is kind of your answer. Now, now, why do I say kind of? Well, we did the subtraction. We got one rational expression as our answer. But when we're done, we should always try to simplify that if possible. So let's do one more step. And again, I'll change colors just so we keep everything straight. Let's try to factor the numerator and denominator. And if we're lucky, ho luck lucky hopefully one of these will um, factor and possibly cancel with another factor. So let's see here, x squared plus 17x plus 60. Let's see, that might factor as, let's see, an x and an x. I'm thinking a five and a 12 should do the trick. Yep, yep, so x plus five and x plus 12. That would FOIL to give you x squared plus 17x plus 60. Uh, you can check me on that, I, I did that kind of quickly. All right, and then the denominator, let's see if he factors as well you would get a 3x for the first factor and an x for the second factor. All right, and then for factors of 10, it's gonna either have to be a one and a 10 or a two and a five. Um, I think if I put a five here and a two here, I think that would work out because you would get 3x squared, 15x and 2x make 17x, and two times five gives you 10. So I think that works out pretty well. Okay, actually, I see what's gonna happen here. I actually, it's starting to become clear. Um, when I factored the numerator and denominator, I see we actually have a common factor of, of x plus five. So we can mark that out, and that works out pretty nicely. So our final answer, our final answer would be x plus 12 divided by three x plus Two. So that's how we subtract two rational expressions. If you have a like uh, a common denominator, the arithmetic happens in the numerator. You clean it up, combine like terms. When you're done, factor everybody and see if you have any common factors that might be able to cancel.